We want to name the following organic compounds, each with a functional group. The most important thing when you do this is to first figure out what exactly is the functional group? Where is the functional group? Those kinds of questions. So we know that when it's bonded here with an OH, we know that's some kind of a functional group because it's different. It, does, it has more than just a carbon in it. Same thing down here. It's going to be something that has to do with this right here. So I'm going to kind of circle through everything that has something that has nothing to do with carbon. Now that we have each functional group identified, you can use that when actually naming them. So we notice that this is an OH, so this is an alcohol. Now it's on the second carbon, so it's going to be a 2, there's a methyl group, and then 2 pentanol. On B, we have a C double bond O bonded to a CH3. So what functional group is that? You might need to look it up, but once you figure out what it is, then you can name this accordingly. This will be 2 pentanone. On C, we have a C double bonded to an O bonded to an OH, which tells us this is an acid. We have four carbons, so we know that this is butanic acid. Now how does this last one fall in? It's a C double bonded to an O and it's got an O next to it. So when you think about that, go find out for sure which functional group that is and then you want to name it. So it's going to be a propyl, pro. Pen O eight.